On this National Space Day, we're focusing on the emerging importance of the youngest branch of the U.S. military, the Space Force. It was established in 2019 by President Trump. He created the first new branch of the armed services since 1947. Space Force's mission is to protect critical assets Americans have come to depend on, like GPS and weather satellites. It also provides space capabilities to the joint forces. So to talk about why the Space Force is so important, we are joined by Chief Master Sergeant of the Space Force, John Bentevania. Good to see you. Hey, thanks for having me today. I so you are the highest-ranking non-commissioned officer in the Space Force. I am. I am. Let's clear up the misconceptions about what Space Force is and what it does. Uh, is, is Space Force part of the United States Air Force, or is it a complete separate service within the Department of Defense. So it is, a, it is a separate service underneath the Department of the Air Force, very similar to the model of the Marine Corps and the Navy. The Marine Corps is a separate service, but it's under the Department of the Navy. So that's the Space Force is very similar to that. So under uh, Secretary Kendall, you have the, the Department of the Air Force and Department of the Space Force. Is there a chief of staff for Space Force, or is the chief of staff the Air Force chief no, of staff? No, we have uh, General Salzman is the chief of space operations. He's a four-star general who leads the Space Force. Fantastic. So we were talking earlier, and when this was introduced, yeah. a lot of people had all these kind of, there's all these space Star Wars jokes and stuff like that that yeah. came up. <laughs> but in the last four years, space has become quite crowded. A yes. lot of people want to get up there. And once upon a time, only nations could afford such an expensive endeavor. Yes. Now we have space billionaires. Yes. Um, so I, I'm kind of curious about how you guys balance what you do, protecting our assets up there, keeping threats away, and also managing commercial endeavors. Yeah, yeah so we, you know, we think about, um, since the Space Force was established in, in, in 2019, the amount of objects on orbit has grown by over like 70%, right? So right now we're tracking over 44,000 objects per day. So like right now there's a young specialist, specialist uh, Connor um, Dolan, who's at the, the Space Operations Center in Vandenberg Space Force Base, and he's doing analysis to help and track those 44,000 objects that are up there wow. because it is congested. And, you know, the space economy is growing, and the, the companies are being innovative. They're reducing the cost of launch and the access to launch. So, yeah, it's not just a government um, game anymore, right? The commercials, we have tourism that's in space as well. But as a service, we're looking to leverage. General Salzman just released his commercial space strategies a few weeks ago. And how do we partner with that innovative spirit that the commercial industry does so that we can better provide and do our mission, right, which is to secure our nation's interest in from and to space. And we want to partner with the industry and take advantage of the innovation and the speed mm. at which they're going. Okay. So let's talk about our defensive capabilities, uh, because it's not just commercial interests that are uh, in space, but we've got our adversaries and our partners and allies as well. Uh, how do you all manage that? I mean, are there in the same way that the chairman of the Joint Chiefs uh, or even the uh, Secretary of Defense often have meetings with their counterparts in other nations, whether they're allies or adversaries. Uh, yeah. Is that kind of communication happening with Space Force and other, I don't think other nations have Space Forces this, yeah, at this level, so. but. Yeah, so many of them have emerging Space Commands, kind of like we were before the Space Force set up. We were, we were a major command under the United States Air Force, and we broke out to be an independent service. Many of our partner nations have similar models. Just a few weeks ago in Colorado Springs, Colorado, General Salzman halted hosted the Space Chiefs Summit. And there we had um, 18 partner nations. Mm. And we spent wow. the day talking about the space domain and their growing space enterprise mm. and how do we work and collaborate together to make sure that the domain really remains safe and secure and open. Right. Well, I think it's, I was just going to say, yeah. it's kind of interesting, right? I mean, we're probably almost the same age. And like 20 or 30 years, when we were kids, it was the United States and the Russians. That's it. That's it. And now we're talking 18 different Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's China, remarkable. There's Japan is interesting. I think even India. India. Yes. Right. Yeah, country. So I, so I have a two-part question then. What excites you about this and what keeps you up at mm. night? So what excites me is the unlimited potential and opportunity, right? So I had the opportunity yesterday for National Space Day. I went out to a couple of elementary schools and talked to students and talk about right, STEM, you know, and getting into education, but just what space provides for us every single day, right? And what it can bring to society. And then space exploration, where NASA is going to go with the Artemis program, going back to the moon. Mm -hmm. And as a service, it's just to make sure that we have free access and free reign, that we have the ability for those dreamers to fulfill their dreams. So I'm excited about the opportunity that lays before us 
just in the exploration in the commercial economy um, and that being part of the service to be able to secure that domain to let those dreamers kind of think of what's going to happen mm. and kind of motivate them really is what excites me. What keeps me up at night is that it's changing rapidly. Mm. It is changing rapidly. And, you know, our, our competitors um, are actively, right, putting, putting uh, uh, capabilities in space to try and maybe deny our ability to take advantage of what the domain has to offer. Mm -hmm. And we just have to move fast because technology and the cost of launch is going to, coming down so much access it's it's changing rapidly we just got to make sure we keep up right. just uh 30 seconds before we go chief master sergeant just describe your personal journey you, you presumably joined the air force did you volunteer for space force or how did that work yeah i did so i was in the air force for about 26 years and i was doing space operations in the air force as an airman and when the opportunity came up when the service you know was established on the very first day on september 1st 2020 um I took an oath to join the Space Force. I've been doing it ever since. It's, it's been amazing. I love having the opportunity to do this. This is Fantastic. great. Fantastic. So uh, cool. Chief Master Sergeant Bentevania. 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 Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks I appreciate it. Here.